Hey piggy people, I just got home from having to go to the emergency vet. We were gone for five hours, so it's a far ways away and it's a snowy day. My sister drove, bless her heart. Oh. So Reese Bear, she's whooped, so she's snoozing right there, had to go. So as you guys know, earlier in the week she went to the vet because she had pus down at her bottom incisor and we were doing antibiotics and medicam and then a couple days ago she had a lump on her jaw and then the lump turned to going down her neck and getting huge so an abscess so we went to the emergency vet to see about getting it drained because it was putting a lot of pressure like on her neck and her jaw so they did a really thorough exam and it's so hard because you can't go in with them and you're going to a place that you're not super familiar with and you don't know the vet staff. But the lady that we dealt with was super thorough and extremely kind on the phone. And she did a really great workup of Reese. And unfortunately, just like my vet was thinking, she believes that Reese has dental disease, so what that means is there's problems with the roots of her teeth and what she has is probably a tooth root abscess, meaning that her tooth obviously is rotting out, causing the abscess. So the abscess is like in her jaw and down her neck, so she said with this, it's really difficult with guinea pigs because the pus is super thick and it gets like encapsulated into this, I don't know, kind of sac that's really hard for any antibiotics to penetrate through. And their pus is so thick that it's not like it can get destroyed from the antibiotics. It's horrible. So she said the only option for guinea pigs is to get it drained and you want to do surgery to remove the entire sac that is containing the pus. And she said this is really difficult with it being a tooth root abscess like in her jaw area. She said there's been some pigs who have had the surgery but it's pretty intense and they haven't made it through the surgery or haven't made it through the post-op. Or if they do make it through it's never-ending struggles of more abscesses happening or more teeth rotting out or teeth having to be removed and not growing back or their jaw alignment getting messed up. So the prognosis for having dental disease is super grim. She said if you're to go through with the surgery, you're probably... You know, there's a chance that she's not going to make it. But if you do go through and she does make it, there's a huge chance that you're going to have to go back in again because another abscess can form, that she's going to have to have dental work done for the rest of her life if she can make it through. She said it's going to be super, super hard on Reese to have all this stuff done and now he's being put out and operated on. So... Uh, I think, sorry, I just scared the piggies. I think the kindest thing is that I'm going to be saying goodbye to Reese. Because there's nothing I can do to fix it. I can relieve some of it, maybe. But she said like it can just get worse and really painful for them to eat. And you know that guinea pigs, if they're not sleeping, they're eating. And if anything happens with the alignment of their teeth, they, they can't eat properly. So I'm going to take a little bit of time here to think about it. But I don't think it's going to be good, guys. And I'm just crushed. Sweetest pig. So sweet. And all I ever want to do is just help them and fix their problem. And I don't really have a solution for her. And then you have to think, if I put her through the surgery, 
Like that's right on her jaw and down her neck. And what if she can't even eat right after and just, it all sounds horrible. So I really have to think about what's best for Reese. So they were able to drain some of the abscess tonight, like right in her neck area. And it feels like they got a very decent amount out, thankfully. So in the morning, because it's really late at night right now, in the morning I'm going to see if I can see where they opened it and see if I can get more out in the morning. Do hot compresses to try to get stuff out. I'll see. I don't know if I'll be able to. But anything just to keep the pressure off. And then I'm going to have to make some hard choices about what's to happen next. So not all, not the update I'm sure anybody wanted to hear. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!